For more videos visit forthesakeofeducation.com Alright guys, now we're going to do this problem that says determine the resultant moment produced by the forces from point O, right here. So, first what you have to do is get all the X and Y components of the uh, forces, but they're already either going straight up or straight to the left or right, or straight down in the case of this one. So there's not really much to do, just all you got to do is draw our lever arms. So our first lever arm is this one. Our second lever arm is this one. And attaches to this force. And our third lever arm is this one. And it attaches to this force. So the sum of the moments at O assuming counterclockwise is positive so first let's work with the 600 force as you can see it pulls this lever arm clockwise so it's negative the force is 600 newtons and the length of the lever arm is one meter now the second force is 500 and it pulls this lever arm to go counterclockwise, which means it's positive. The force is 500 newtons. The length of this lever arm is calculated by, let's call it X. And it's one meter plus two meters plus 2.5 meters cosine of 45. Cosine of 45 degrees. And it comes out to be 1 plus 2 plus 1.77 meters. And that's 3, 4.77. 4.77 meters. And the last force is this 300 Newton force, which pulls this lever arm to go clockwise, which means it's negative. The force is 300 Newtons. And the length of the lever arm <coughs> is the same as this length, call it y, which is given by 2.5 sine of 45 degrees, which comes out to be 1.77. So it's 1.77 meters. When you plug uh, all these numbers into your calculator, you're going to get that the answer is 1254 newton meters is positive therefore the force is going counterclockwise which can also be expressed as 1.254 kilonewtons per meter going counterclockwise final answer Please comment below if you want me to do any problems and I'll be happy to help. Thank you.